We're working, uh, we want to work kind of quickly because, um, so just to make it so that she's a little bit sluggish, we partially narcotized her with carbon dioxide. She's feeling groggy and the staple's already out, so I'm hanging on to it. And so we just look for like that. Yeah, hold that. They definitely sound queenless. So we look for a frame that has a little bit of nectar for her to feed on. If it's got some emerging brood, we can put her over that. Is this a bright thing? This queen's already bred? Yeah, she's been artificially inseminated. But Harry Laidlaw told me it's not artificial, Greg. It's instrumentally inseminated. He's a little touchy about that. It's real semen. Whatever. <laughs> so those that's just empty comb there that probably Crispin put in. We can use a roll cage on the last queen. Okay. We only have two push-ins left. Okay. That's a nice brood pattern. Just emerging. Yeah, I don't really want to. Yeah, I can do that. I don't want to. I don't want larvae in it. No. But I. But I could probably do it here. So we're going to put her over here. We found a spot we like. Get rid of those bees. She's waking up. So I'm avoiding larvae. <coughs> That'll work, I guess. Yep. Well, there's to it. You press Sorry. this in. You want a good cage. You press it into the midrib. We have plastic foundation, so it's pretty sturdy. But the bees tend to chew around the edges of the cage. You may come back and it's full of bees. They may have even released her, but it's <coughs> probably okay. But you would rather release her yourself. Because then you know. So she's all she's all woken up. So that's how that looks. That was gassing it briefly. In so about three days, you come back. Or now what's the marking? Now you, we have <laughs> we have a tag glued to her back. Oh, because she's with in her wood glue. We used to use Canada balsam. Then we found out. Wood glue is easier, okay. <laughs> and so we just. And that, that's, a, that's a number for your for your uh, research. A, it's a number to keep track of the the cross. We okay. can go back to the sheet and see okay. who she was bred with, and so you know, and you can leave her in there until she starts laying eggs. But the problem is. Um, they tend to eat chew around the edges, so we'll probably come back and release her before that. Um, just what kind of ta time frame would that normally be? Maybe in a week, five days to a week. So, a lot of times when they do start to eat around her and release her, they've already accepted. So that's that's all there is to that. Put the clean excluder part now and now. Where would I find a source of CO2? Well, that, that's a good point. You could put, as another safety precaution, we can do this. Welding. Welding shop. Welding supply. So fire stations can provide, they can fill up smaller tanks. So now? Or they can direct you to an area. Hmm. Okay. You know, we just turn this thing to the queen excluder just in case she has some urge to fly out and get mated, but in a couple of days she won't feel like flying out and yeah, getting mated. Once she mated. starts laying eggs, 
when her ovaries develop, she won't fly. But no virgin queens can get in either. That's true. Okay, we're done here.